meniscal repair. Under arthroscopic visualization, the meniscal tear is probed to determine if it is suitable for repair. If repairable, the tear is prepared using the surgeon's preferred methods. Using the Covidian meniscal probe, approximate the distance from the capsular side of the meniscus to the desired needle penetration point at the repair site. The probe is advanced to the back of the meniscus and visually assessed. Depth laser markings on the probe are indicated at 5 mm increments, as are the depth markings found on the needles of the AS meniscal repair device. Record the intended depth of penetration at the repair site. This will serve as an indicator as to how far to advance the AS meniscal repair device and helping to gauge proper penetration of the tissue. Special care should be made to avoid overpenetration when repairing posterior horn tears to the lateral meniscus. Introduce the AS meniscal inserter into the joint space through the incision portal until it reaches the joint space. The AS meniscal repair device is then introduced with the help of the inserter. The inserter will guide the AS meniscal repair device into the joint space and help avoid capturing surrounding tissue. Sliding the needles along the inserter help reduce tissue impingement during insertion. Carefully advance the AS meniscal repair device against the meniscus at the predetermined point of penetration at the repair site. The alignment of the needles on the device is critical. They are not designed or intended to manipulate or position tissue. Do not subject the device to forces that may misalign or bend the needles. Doing so may affect their ability to place and or pass the suture. Advance the longer needle until it just penetrates the meniscal tissue. Adjust the device orientation if required so that the shorter needle is in the desired location, position for horizontal, oblique, or vertical stitch. Fully advance the needles to the desired depth. Note, the markings on the needles are at 5 mm increments, allowing for predetermined depth of penetration found in step 2. Advance the thumb slide to the full extent of its travel. After the thumb slide is advanced forward maximally, it can be fully retracted. This will retract the passing wire and capture the suture in the long needle as it is passed from the short needle. Note, at this point, the thumb slide should be locked out, not able to advance forward. To check, make sure you are unable to advance thumb slide again. Withdraw the device. Maintain the thumb slide in the full back position. The suture will deploy from the device, passing the suture across the tear. Cut the free end of the suture from the long needle. Pull out suture slack stored in handle behind snare basket. Feed the free end of the suture about 2 to 3 inches into the snare basket located on the distal end of the handle. Place your freehand thumb over the top of the pre-tied knot, holding it in place. Pull the snare basket back and up towards the end of the handle to thread the suture through the pre-tied knot. Discard the AS meniscal repair device and snare basket. Loading the free end of the suture into a standard knot pusher. Apply traction to the suture post to remove any slack in the suture. With the knot pusher, Advance to the repair site, apply traction as needed to approximate the tissue, and tighten the knot. When satisfied with the location and security of the suture loop at the repair site, the knot can be locked. To lock the knot, remove the knot pusher and pull the knot post limb of suture until the two half-hitch knots flip and lock. Two distinct flips should be felt in final tightening of the knot. The suture above the knot can be cut. It is recommended leaving a minimum of 3 mm of suture tail above the knot. Using the AS meniscal depth probe, assess the repair and examine and test. If necessary, additional AS meniscal repair devices can be used.